What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Hoop State Hype, YouTube edition, 2021, and we're here. We're, you're watching the Hoop State Network. Subscribe to us. If you're interested in repping our merch, doing anything like that, go to hoopstatestore.com, lock in, get everything you need. All right, first up, public school basketball is finally back. They're wearing masks, they're getting it done. Nobody's really allowed to go, but there's been a lot of exciting stuff going on in the hoop state. And I think the first thing that comes off the top of my mind, at least for right now, is what Breon Pass is doing. In a dominating win over Shining Light Academy, Breon put up 44, 13, and five blocks. He's averaging a ridiculous stat line this year. But, and when I say ridiculous, I mean ridiculous. 39 points, 15 boards, eight assists, four steals, four blocks. Think about that. Like, really, like, think about that. Wins over Shining Light, wins over Graham. They're playing Dudley this coming week. You can see that game live on the Hoop State Network, so be sure to check that out. That is going to be a really, really exciting matchup, of, uh, definitely a test for Breon. Probably be the best team he's faced thus far. Dudley, a traditional high-level team in the Greensboro Public School uh, area, so it'll, be, it'll definitely be a good contest, and like we said, that one will be live. He's on a mission for Gatorade Player of the Year. He's already committed. Um, he doesn't really have anything to prove to anybody. Um, and now that he is really solely focused on basketball, uh, especially for moving to the next level, going to NC State next year, that he's going to be really locked in and he's on a mission to win Gatorade Player of the Year. He's been very open about that, and I think that's something that he has a legitimate shot to do. If he keeps this up and he's able to carry Reedsville to a deep playoff berth, which seems possible with his ability, he's playing like one of, if not the top guard, in the state of North Carolina right now. On a less of a good note, Dontre Styles suffered a scary injury, or at least suffered a scary moment in Kinston's game against South Lenore. He's going up for a big dunk. I think it was off the backboards alley-oop. Got flipped upside down basically and landed on his back and neck area, and it was a really, really dangerous moment. Ended up leaving the game in an ambulance to go to the hospital. I believe he is all good, so we want to make sure that uh, Dontre knows that we are with him and, and everything that's going on. Obviously, such a scary situation, but he says he'll be back. Keep that in mind as Kinston tries to hold their up their end of the bargain in the two AEs that Bobby Pettiford will be in, Quavion Smith will be in, we'll get to them in just a minute, as well as Breon Pass. So that's such a loaded classification in North Carolina. It's going to be one that the Hoop State Network will be following along very, very closely over the next 8 to 12 weeks as the public school season kind of takes its course. Looking ahead beyond that, I just mentioned, but Bobby Pettiford, Quavion Smith battled it out. Farmville Central gets a huge win at home. And they are the defending state champions. They're 2-0 on the year. Quavion Smith's coming out hot, averaging around 30. Put up 33 points and three assists in, in the win over South Granville. Bobby Pettiford did his thing as well. 25 points, five assists, five rebounds. A lot of people said he looked like the best player on the floor. That was just a classic battle. I think those two teams are going to likely meet again, depending on how the brackets shake out. I think they're the two best teams in 2A right now. Um, and Bobby will and his boys will likely have another chance. And a guy, Colin Tanner, is proven to be a, a more than admirable sidekick to Bobby with what he's been able to do. I think he finished with 26 points. And then for Farmville, you have to Quavion. And then a new kid, a couple new kids, and Jaden Pitt uh, and Josh Short have really emerged. And I think that those that trio right there, along with Rache Owen and Leonte Moy and some of the younger bench guys they're bringing off, are going to be really, really talented and be an unrelenting force in the 280s. A couple things and transactions and stuff like that um, to keep your mind on. Jalen Curry leaves Combine Academy, going back to Vance High School to team up with Daniel Hansford, or Sanford, excuse me, and Mario Hansen, the freshman. So they have their big three moving forward along with a, a lineage of other talented pieces at Vance. They're going to be a force in the IMEC along with North Mech and West Charlotte, who had a really close game on Friday night that North Mech squeaked out a six-point victory. So that's kind of the, the stuff going on in the Charlotte Public School area. I know Audrey Kell, South Mech, Cox Mill, a lot of those teams are off to solid starts as well. Um, Mason Padgett resigned at Lake Norman Christian, but it looks like Mikey Williams and Joyful Hawkins will still be there. I know there were some re really strange rumors flying around about what would be going on with those two. But for now, it looks like that they're both going to be in uniform for Lake Norman Christian. Um, I think they played twice this week. I want to say they played Victory, and I want to say they played Shining Light Academy. That Shining Light game will be on the Hoopsay Network on Saturday. And I think the other thing to note um, for that is they did bring in a new coach in Pat McCarthy who is a very, very experienced guy. Anybody around the Hoop State or Charlotte would recognize him with what he's done with the PSB program over the past few years. And I think when you look at the way that PSB Rise team was constructed this year with guys like J.P. Haggerty, who played on that team, um, Jarvis Moss, they had a lot of talent, and they were able to really beat teams that might have had more talent on paper than them with the fact that they're such a well-coached, methodical bunch. So obviously it's going to be different with different guys. And uh, we'll kind of see... How it shakes out for Lake Norman Christian the rest of the year. It hasn't been a great year 
for them, it hasn't been a great year for Michael Williams individually. There's still more than enough time to turn it around, and we've seen when they are clicking how good they can be, namely that Burlington school game where Mikey Williams had 40 points and really showed everyone who he truly can be. This coming week, obviously there's a bunch. We have Combine Academy taking on Word of God. The day you'll be viewing this, assuming you view it the day it comes out, it, the, the game will be live tonight. So be sure to tune into that one from 3000 Rock Quarry Road in Raleigh, North Carolina. That's going to be a great game. We cannot wait for you guys to tune in with us for that. I know we got Shining Light versus Lake Norman Christian and possibly a few other games to be announced as well. Reedsville and Dudley is another one. So we're going to be on tour yet again. Week two public school season. We're going to try to bring it all to you live. And we appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, be sure to subscribe. Follow us on Hoop State Network or on Instagram at Hoop State Network and on Twitter at The Hoop State. And that's it. We'll see y'all very, very soon. I get it.